Santo. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Daughter Roping. Um, so we're in the class trial, and admittedly, I'm doing pretty terribly. I have one life left at the moment. Thankfully, I learned that no, it is not. You, you don't just have one listen to of these of the statements. That's what I was worried about. Because when I looked at it, it looked like I can only go through the statements once, or else it's game over. And I was actually terrified. But now that I know that that's not the case, I will definitely pay a lot closer attention. I feel like I'm getting the game systems. It's a little bit trial and error, but let's let's, let's continue. What happened then was probably. So I'm feeling like Sayaka is not as innocent as we think. And maybe she actually wanted to kill someone? Cause why else- Okay, I'm starting to doubt her a bit now, you know? She invited over, came in and attacked her. Yeah. We figured it out! We know who did it! Whoever she invited over is the culprit! Well, I mean, okay, that feels a little obvious. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Yeah, Mondo, you tell him. fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Look at his nervous Nikki. Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? I mean, it has to be. Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? We have evidence that it was. Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Well, we have evidence. It was... Um... So if you look at it... It says, um, when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. It's the glittery stuff. Please tell me this is the right thing I'm choosing, and it's not that it's like the, um... I have to choose these ones. I mean, yeah, it's her wrist that shows the glittery stuff. I got yeah, okay, good. We at least got back half a life. A oh boy, all I need is one more and, and I'm a little... No, I think we're good now, because if we lose it, then we have half a life left. So we're still... we're getting better. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is... is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword! Right there on her wrist! Congratulations, Taka. You've fulfilled grade 3 logic. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. What happened in my room? And what led to Sayaka's death? That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about- Oh god, there's still more. What's happening now? Are you getting used to these non-stop debates? So with next debate- Okay, multiple truth bullets into your truth cylinder. Um, but just like with the weak spots, only one of the bullets can actually refute the proper statement. This- I was scared about this before because I thought I would have to choose one before and hope that it's- Because the thing that screwed me up was you you only have one shot before it runs out. And when you get to the end, I thought it would be game over right there because it's like, you know, the st I thought they'd only go through it once, but no. Um, only one bullet can refute this statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll need to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. Come up with the wrong uh, combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You can press L to rotate which ones. Press and release L, or you can hold down L and use the left stick to it. Okay. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. Someone told me that by doing it, by going on to kind, I'm making the game too easy. But I don't know if you see how it's been for me so far. For our purposes, the logic... Oh, thanks, will be set to mean. Well, <laughs> thanks. Make your argument, okay. Replica sword, sheath, kitchen knife... Okay, it's not gonna be the kitchen knife set. We'll see what it is. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack. I'm not trusting that one. That's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the 
kitchen knife she had hidden away. Um, no. But then the culprit took that from her too. Hmm. Killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, so there's only two statements. I feel like it's the second one. If the person with the sword really did attack first, there's n no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. That would be the sheath. Yeah, how would the sheath get damaged? If it was a sneak attack, how would you? How would it damage the sheath? Yeah. No, that one's fine. That's what broke me is my zone of rest. Oh no no that one's right. It is the first one. Okay. When the fighting broke, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first arrow was dealt. Sword based sneak attack. There we go. Yay! I did it. I used logic. I'm happy. I'm playing the game correctly a bit. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash. Uh -huh. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere, then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. I'm already starting to feel that Sayaka really is not super innocent and that she was the one who brought someone over to kill and that person used the sword to defend themselves and then killed Sayaka with her own thing. So she grabbed the sword That's what I'm feeling right now, but I could be wrong. That might change later. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend No, herself. that doesn't make much sense. What? How the hell can you not think that? Oh my god. It's... Okay, maybe I guess if you if you if you didn't put together the name thing, you wouldn't. But it seems so obvious from his reactions that he's the killer. Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. And that would be her hands. Um, which part of the body? It would be her palms. Yeah, her stomach. She put it onto her stomach and used belly dancing techniques to use the sword. Obviously, that makes sense. The palms of her hands were perfectly clean, so I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. And guy showers don't work at night, so they couldn't have washed them off. If you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her nope, hands Nope, not in the boys' washroom. Into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Oh my god, I hate you, actually. No, that's not it at all. No way Sayaka washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation about what happens to the bathrooms at night. Um, the water was off. No, she's afraid of water. Yeah, the water was off. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower yet. Wow, that's really gross. You probably stink to high heaven. Oh my. You're no different. You smell like a big fat ugly donkey. 
Hey! Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. Alright, so we got that out of the way. Hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... Sayaka! Wow, okay. Had to be Sayaka. I got it! Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? Guess but so. We already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. As much as we don't want to admit it, I guess that's how it happened. First was Sayaka? Guess yeah, so. Understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you kind of had to point at that. She took the you know? From the kitchen. Then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And I know Makoto's gonna be like, "No, my perfect girl won't do that." But remember the DVDs, so. That she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation. And it, her fears about the world revolving without her—that that's true. Indeed, these are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point, Makoto. Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? We did tell her, hey, you, you could always count on me. And she always said that we're her assistant. Sayaka oh, man. On me? Man, Saika, it's not looking pretty good for her. That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that could implicate Makoto. Mm -hmm. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? I mean, you gotta take that big risk it biscuit if you want to get out of here, so... One thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Oh, we were played. She played us like a damn fiddle! Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! I was gonna say, here it comes. Because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument. No, this is kind of important, You're I feel. Being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Oh no, but this is important. Be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time. Oh yeah, we got to decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really all over? Uh, obviously, I'm committed to finding out who the killer, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left except the one that literally spells out the name of the killer. Make your argument. Okay. Dying message. Yep. It's the one. Just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, Lord. Except not. We have one big one. We have a bigger break. That's a, that's good. Every game needs like a break or a breakdown. One clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining. Wait. What did you say? What? No. 
She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? He doesn't know. One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Literally flip your head and it's fine. Before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yeah, she has the blood on her finger. There's no question that Sayaka wrote the message, and we can prove it on her, her left index finger. Yeah. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. And because, because it was written upside down, at least we know that, there's no way that someone else could use their hand to write it because it would, would make sense for that person to take her hand and write it and do it upside down. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro, you're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, <laughs> but I don't see any kind of meaning That's so funny. It's, it's like, you're a computer nerd, you know about numbers, and she's just like, no, they're... What? No, stop, what? <laughs> it's great. It's because they're not numbers. Yeah, no, kind of obvious. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Yeah. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Yes! Yes, it does! We finally oh, came to right. it! The connecting line is barely there. It's there, though! I assumed it was one one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa! You might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> My little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Except. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Yes, you do, you idiot. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Wow, Kyoko is just like. She's just like, hey, guys. Guys. Huh? Rotate it. I think maybe I see something. Oh my god! Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it. So, whose name did she write? Can't everyone just do it? Saka's dying message reveals the killer's name. You turn the light is 180 degrees. It should become crystal clear. This is a situation where. If the game has to explicitly tell you this, I feel like it's a li like mm. select someone. Where is he? Hold it. Here's my answer. Got it. Objection. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. Yep. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L-E-O-N, or more accurately, Leon. What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. Yeah, the blood splatter just so happened to spell my name. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, uh. It's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. <laughs> no way I would do it. I definitely have been nervous this entire time. Just go and say shit like that. I mean, one of us did it, and you're the only one freaking out, bro. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Yeah. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? The evidence that Leon tried to get rid of. It's the thing I found on the ground in front of the incinerator, right? The burnt shirt piece. Yeah. Right? That's the right one? 
Yeah, okay, that is the right one. I was ready to be the glass. The burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind, and the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What? What? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. Yes, but none of them can throw like a baseball superstar. One little charred piece. There's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. I think it's how it was disposed. Because it could only have been thrown in the incinerator by someone with a good arm. Yeah, it was how. Yeah, yeah. We're back up to Max. How the shirt was disposed of. We should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're going to say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. That's what you think. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? Please, that guy can't do anything on his own. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> No, that's wrong. There's another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. That's exactly what proves Leon is the real killer. Make your argument. We need the shattered crystal ball. Okay. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Nope, that's not the right one. To get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have hmm. to get close to the incinerator. Nope! That's the no, false no. argument! Oh man, I'm starting to get it now. It took took a little bit, I nearly died, but I'm feeling it. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Not necessarily. Yes, you could. If you use this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. <laughs> Just cut to hero Actually, crying. Oh yeah. Crystal ball, but, uh... but how would you use it? Killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way. And he was to throw it. it. Not divine with it. The killer simply took See, it the I would totally switch. And threw the ball through a gap in the game. I would totally be clicking some of these joke answers, but I feel unlike Phoenix Wright. They're just like, no, that's not it, and you lose points. I could be wrong, All but all had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? What did he say? Uh, someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. Certain it was off. Yes, work of a fairy, of course. Hifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Mm -hmm. hey, come on, what the hell is this? And who better to toss it in than our baseball star? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could well. really do that? Boy, it's a good thing. There's no way. It'd be impossible. God. Difficult. Absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... 
Um, the ultimate baseball star. There you go. That's where the evidence comes in. Ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with okay. that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. Yeah, it seems so pretty conclusive. Now here's what happened. Yeah. The closing argument. Yes, let's... Do we have to actually sequence it together? Every case has one last element to bring the cast trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, I'll give a complete summary of the case. You have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book? Yo, that's kind of cool. However, you'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the X button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Okay. Let's see here. Climax inference. Okay, so, so she comes in, hello, um, then after this, she, let's press X here. My room was a scene of crime. The incident began when the killer entered. Yeah, she brandished the knife, right? No, is that her brand? No, she's brandishing the knife there. So then after that, yeah, right here, this is the next one. Oh, there's more. Yeah, okay. That's... Wait. D wait. Do we actually have to, like... Oh, it's written manga style! I'm so dumb. Okay, so yeah. Then after this, she was the one who... That's there. Yeah, th it, I totally forgot that it's written manga style. This is cool! So she dove with the knife. And this guy was like... Um... He blocked it with this. Yeah, he blocked it with that. He's like, ah, oh, Masaka! And then she's like, huh? And then he... Wait. No, this, this happened here. She missed here. What, this is cool. Oh, what happened here then? First, when Sayaka attacked the killer with a knife, they noticed something in my room. They noticed the sword behind them. Oh, no, wait. Uh, okay, th yeah, no, this goes here. This goes here. Because this, I made the mistake of thinking that that's the second panel. Okay, because I forgot this was manga style. Yeah, they came to... Wait, they came to my room. Oh, no, Sayaka's room, right. Came to Sayaka's room, went there. Huh? Smack this looks this looks like studio trigger missed it and then from that she dropped the knife Ah my hand wiggle 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 she got in there. She's hiding. This is such good art. I love it Um, I actually super love the art style here. It's so good. Um, then at this point, so she's hiding in here and He's not doing that yet They forced the bathroom door open the only logical way they could have done that is with this yeah, yeah, yeah. Forced it open. Use the knife. Huh, looking creepy. Huh, stabbed. And while she was being stabbed, what's this one then? Do they uh, do they all get used? They they all get used, right? No. Cause he never took out the the sheet, the sword. Did he? He just smacked it with it. Sheath, 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 yep. Knife, knife, so he has the knife, he's using it. After she stabbed Saka, used her blast spit to leave something, so she left that. He smiled, stabbed her, walked out, was like, whoo! Um, this was where he used, he found the lint roller, because then he used the lint roller. Took it, went over here. Um was like, ah, I got the ma magic ball. And he threw it like a baseball, threw it over, smashed that switch, um, 
threw it in, but then this this one wait 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 no no wrong one um this one he threw it all in and it was all good it burned up and he's like hey, hey, hey. no one can do that and then he did that okay so the one so yeah he never took the sword out of the sheath so that one is the one that will not be used right the all right let's see you. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Oh, this is so cool! This is- I love this! ...that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room, and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Wait, she dropped the knife! Yeah, that, that's where she dropped the knife! Right? But that so she dropped the knife. What did I get wrong? I mean Okay. Okay, what did I do wrong then? That that looks alright, so there, 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 there. Yeah, that looks alright. Did Did he take out the sword? How did he get the knife then? What? <sighs> that's the only thing that's left. Is it that he used the sword? Took the sword out? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, this is what it is. The knife goes here because no one took out... I was going to say, no one used the... um. The toolkit that that was a clear piece of evidence so they broke the knife they broke the lock with the knife okay I have nothing else okay let's try that during the struggle yeah there we go okay and that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. I feel like that knife's in the wrong place now. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. No, because she dropped it on the outside. Way right. Maybe? Is that the right one? Yeah, no, that's not the right one. Oh, man. Man, when it's explained, it's so much easier. <sighs> Is this one the right one, then? Wait, what's this? Okay, what's this say? They force the bathroom door open. Yeah, so then this, this one makes sense for being here. I'm gonna double check first one more time. Okay, that was the dying message. Okay, it should be right now. Let's hope. Yeah, we got this. I thought they didn't use... No, there was no evidence of it being used, though. Okay. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife... ...and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining... Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood.
Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? That was actually super cool. I honestly Here wish Ace Attorney would do something like that. Crystal ball in the laundry room. Like it that that is that's very hype, unlike the finale parts of Ace Attorney, which are very kind of just like a little more slow in plotting. That's cool. I mean they added in the recent games the whole truth thing where it's like you follow the logic. But that's cool. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? I feel like we provided a tantamount amount of evidence. evidence. It's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Uh, maybe. I have the evidence, yeah. Your first truth bullet- Wh what I thought I was done. Excuse me. Sometimes during class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you engage in a head-to-head -head battle. We refer to this as bullet time battle, aka the BTB. BTW. I hate that. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the bottom screen to reach. So it's a rhythm game. And also tap the bottom section. Press or tap X to lock onto your opponent's statement. Then triangle to. Oh, what? Deal damage. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. This is... What? Do this consecutively. There's a rhythm game? On the flip side, if you keep missing, you get tempo down. When tempo changes, so does the timing. Watch out for that. Deal enough damage to your opponent, the weak spot statement will appear. At this point, you can press triangle, shoot a truth bullet, like any other statement. You can also tap the screen. If you do the statement fast enough, you'll come out victorious. But, like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero, you run out of time, you fail. Good luck, have fun! Oh god. When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. Yeah, it- I guess... They must have used their I own to toolkit. You. You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Okay, five-year-old. Stupid, 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 stupid! I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I have to figure it out. Moment of truth! Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a 
chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. What the hell? Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? What am I doing? You kidding me? Not a chance. What the hell? You lie. Shut up. What? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? Okay, I'm getting it now. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. This is so weird. Where's your proof? This should prove it. Okay. Okay, I had- I nearly died there because I legitimately had no- like- I thought you had to aim at it. But you just press X. Okay. This game could use slightly better tutorials. Because this whole class trial was very much a trial and error, but- we seem to be good. I, th I think I get every gameplay element now. What kind of tool the killer used to remove that? I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Calm down, man. It be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I do kind of like how it, 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 it does start off with everyone being like free for all, but then everyone starts to reach the same conclusion and join your side. That's pretty cool. Isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Well. Oh. I feel kind of sad for him, so, except not really. No rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Are you serious? I got an A rank? I nearly died many times. 70 medals? Oh god. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Not like that one time on Big Brother Canada where the person in the very final one accidentally voted for the wrong person because they didn't understand the voting procedures. Man, that was a oh, crap shoot. Crap all, shoot, rather. Make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Alright, let's, uh... Do we actually have to choose? Can we put... Oh. Okay, so we don't actually have to choose at the end. It's not like we can potentially screw things up and choose the wrong person, because that'd be awkward. <laughs> Look, uh oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The blacken in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kawada. Oh. Huh? He's not having a good day. Hold, hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But, but, 
I don't believe it. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, what the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. Oh. It was kill or be killed. I, that's why... I killed her first. None of you are any different. One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was a complete chance that I wound up like this. Just... <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Well, you're taking this kind of in stride. Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? I mean, yeah, I guess at this point. Everything's become clear. The decision was made. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Then everyone dies. I don't know, man. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But, even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. Yep. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. It was her, and the video, it, if I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Yeah, because that's what I was saying, like, she got so freaked out by it. And, like, she had to do something. They're probably waiting for me. Yeah, there you go. Why? Yep, that's where she freaked out. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends, was her career. To have seen something like that happen to them. And Sayaka... I... I did whatever it... Yeah, I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. She killed a man, and I think I made that joke. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. Yeah, that's what I said too. It's like... Yeah, well, um, hmm. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. Unless it's a Marvel comic. <laughs> Boy, howdy! The, <laughs> the entertainment industry sure must be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. Which actually makes her hotter, in my opinion. I'm down with them Yandere girls. What? Did you say? I understand, really I do. Yup, yup. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayak's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... Oh. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one! I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed! Now then, since you were so magnificently revealed, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kawada will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? Oh no. You mean execution? Oh, you're gonna die. Wait a second. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Uh, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of moment. It was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Mm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? That, or he had it on him, which is equally as, as incriminating. Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. But you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So that's no, uh, that's not... Uh, stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Just kill him. Whoa. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than any anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? Oh my god, you're kind of evil. 
I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him! So I... If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind! Uh-oh, did I- did you awaken to your sense of justice? Well, it just so happens there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. I thought it was video game journalism. Oh. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate war all over the world. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Shut up! Okay, well, anyway, more importantly, let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for! The punishment! No, please don't do this! No more begging! No more excuses! You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules! Society demands it! Oh boy. Now then, i prepared a very special punishment! For Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star! No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god, they have to watch. Holy crap, we just witnessed a man die. Oh my god, that was way more brutal than I expected. I just want everyone to just be like, holy crap, oh my god. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else can we call it? Extreme! What? <laughs> oh my god. Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control. <laughs> Everyone's just freaking the frick out. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just gotta take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it. All you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> oh boy. Damn you. Oh, language. Evil? You make it sound like I'm some kind of dark, awful, secret society type of guy. What? Or in this case, a d dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well. Why are you putting up such an upstanding good citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Um. It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I don't think it's possible. Um. Hey, uh, I don't think that what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'll pound your ass into the ground. Poo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened happened more than one... 
what happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free from your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame! <laughs> of course we can't cut free from the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. <laughs> hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you all learn the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever. What does this mean? What are you talk trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, uh, that's what everyone is waiting for. Hey. Hmm. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I've said everything I gotta say. I need to save some of that for the fun, some of the fun for later. Wahahaha! <laughs> Spiking the microphone. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. We all cried ourselves to sleep. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. <laughs> Oh, he's not crying. Real men don't cry. Giraffes don't cry. <laughs> no one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my Makoto. ear. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to dub meant to double cross you that's a fact you can never change yeah as i was saying i was like this is all way too convenient and i'm actually and it's weird because even though i was saying that i actually had a really hard time believing during that trial that she betrayed me until the evidence started to stack up that's very interesting but even till the very end she wasn't sure of her decision that's why as she lay dying she was thinking of you she was thinking of me you can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you could know that. Only Sayaka know for, know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she would have never left that message. Well... Maybe she just wanted to get back to the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it anyway. was. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. And Makoto's like, oh my god, what do you mean? I am dying on the inside. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. Yeah, here we go. No, I'm gonna carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I want to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well, I'm psychic. Excuse me? What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Oh! That's actually a nice callback. I like that. Oh. Wow. Okay, we beat chapter one. Surviving students. Oh, that's grim. Oh, that's dark. 
oh, that will be a constant reminder. To be continued. Holy crap, that is literally One Piece. That is almost... That is almost... You got the despair bat. Okay. That is like almost picture for picture One Piece. Yeah, let's save the data. One is the loneliest number. That's true. I mean, except for like negative 30 billion. When has that ever come up in conversation? Okay, I need to save because I have to go to the bathroom so badly. Okay, there we go. Well, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. And um, we'll actually continue just right from where we were next time. Um, oh, boy. This went where not I expected. Also, these are like hour-long parts. I'll probably do some of those, but I don't think I'll keep that as the norm. But we'll see. Thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you next time for some more um, Dangling Grandpa. See you next time, guys. Ciao. You can